Hello, I'm Arthur. And I am Bartosz. And we are the founders of Common Point. Today, we would love to tell you our story, how it all started, and what are we up to. We would love to talk about sharing knowledge, reaching out to other people, our upcoming tutorial and uh, the secret project. But uh, just in general, we would love to talk about becoming a better 3D artist, which Common Point is all about. Um, it all started one year and a half ago, uh, during first lockdown here in Poland. Um, I reached out to Bartosz uh, to talk about his work and his approach to various uh, 3D subjects. And um, at that time I was experimenting a lot with different 3D subjects, trying to figure out if my approach matched other people. Uh, you know, I could make it work one way or another, but uh, I wasn't sure if this is the right way to do it. Yeah, I figured that uh, I need to reach out to Bartosz and uh, he will you know, definitely have some answers. Unfortunately, it became clear that uh, there's no ultimate answer for honestly any of my problems. So we tried to get to the bottom of it together. And the whole experience was, and uh, yeah, still is, uh, pretty exciting because we both come from various creative backgrounds. I have a background in architecture and traditional art, so naturally ArcFIS was always my primary field of commercial work. But what I really love is to look at the bigger picture in terms of space, environment and world building. I come from creative agency slash production house background and uh, over the years I tried myself in various creative fields such as 3D rendering, color grading, editing copywriting and art direction. We both live in Poland, but uh, about 7 to 8 hour drive from each other. I live by the seaside up north and Bartosz lives at the other end of Poland near the mountains. But anyhow, uh, our background is vastly different and one of us uh, is well organized and the other one produces scenes which uh, you know, takes about 150 million polygons and cannot set up uh, a proxy properly and yeah, <laughs> you can guess who's who and write it down in the comment section if there is one. We have uh, different professional experiences which makes an interesting dynamic between us. Uh, so we started talking and producing our first tutorial uh, at the same time and we kind of plunged into the deep water from the very beginning. I had this personal sci-fi animation that I have been doing forever. Uh, a lot of world building, concept development, uh, sculpting and whatnot just to produce a nice cinematic piece. Unfortunately, working alone for so many years wouldn't let me finish. But this time it was two of us, so uh, we tried to revisit it somehow. We dived straight into 3ds Max, ZBrush and making all of those big plans. Ultimately, we wanted to use this new animation as pre-recorded training. But that kind of failed. I mean, we'll definitely come back to it at some time. But as for now, it turned out to be too ambitious. So we kind of regrouped and started from scratch. Uh, we decided to articulate our knowledge in smaller bits. And this is the time where the, when the idea of Common Point really came to life. We promised ourselves to produce free articles once in a month, and that became the backbone of our initiative. We take a subject, such as a guide to most popular biomes or day-to-night transition, and um, figure out how to approach it. We make quite an extensive research to understand how does it work in real life. Then we contrasted with our knowledge, learning from each other during the process, and finally we work our way to the smallest details, write it down and um, yeah, just share it for free with others. After all those years working in the industry, it's pretty liberating to articulate what you do. Also, we try to reach out to other people as much as possible and taking this opportunity to shout out to Evelina, Konstantinos, uh, Vasilis and Karolina for huge help along the way. This way we can paint an even bigger picture. Hopefully many people can benefit from them and just understand the why and the how behind many different subjects. 
slowly but surely we are creating an extensive project of the spa hotel that uh, becomes the sandbox for anything Arcfis related. You can already see some content from it on our blog, but we are preparing something even more exciting. Over time, we'd love to take those articles and extend them in the form of pre-recorded paid training. We want to use this project to cover the process of perceiving uh, lighting and color uh, in exterior views. It's primarily aimed at the Arcfist community, but we believe many different artists could benefit from it, including concept artists, game designers and so on. We'll make a proper announcement in a couple of weeks, but just in general. We know that color is arguably the most challenging part of CG to master, especially if you're a beginner. So, we want to give you some tools that help you have control over it. We have tons of different lighting scenarios for many weather conditions and discuss how you can have control over them both in terms of lighting and color. For example, we discuss the expectations of colors for vegetation and the sky, how to train your eye to see the natural colors and give you guidelines to extend your color palette artistically. The approach is pretty similar to what we try to achieve with the articles, but this time with more context, cool trivia and, most importantly, explaining every technical aspect of it. This is pretty much it, and uh, thank you Chaos Group for having us, uh, we really appreciate it, and also taking this opportunity to thank all of our supporters. Uh, all the huge love that uh, you gave us along the way really fuel our efforts. So yeah, I mean, uh, hopefully you'll stick with us, uh, join our blog and uh, become a better 3D artist. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. But, but, <laughs> that kind of failed. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs>